Hello, this is Tim with Location Sound, and I'm here to talk about the Sound Devices 788T along with the CL8 mixing module. I'm also going to talk about all the accessories that will enable you to use the 788 to its full potential. The Sound Devices 788T is an 8 input 12 track recorder that can generate or receive time codes. In my opinion, it's one of the most durable, reliable, dependable, and widely used recorders in production field recording today. So without further ado, let's get started. To power up the 788T, press and hold the power key for more than one second. After it's done loading, you'll notice it go into its main screen. This screen shows you battery voltage level, indicating voltage of the removable battery or external power source, take number and file name, record time for files being recorded, sample rate, time cone frame rate, and bit depth indicator. It shows and highlights the media that's selected for record and displays remaining record time available. It displays which tracks or inputs your headphones are currently listening to. It shows you time code generated or received. And last but not least, it shows you time and date. The menu key accesses a 788T setup menu. When in the setup menu, you can scroll through menus using the multifunction rotary knob moving between menu selections. To select or enter data, simply push in. The HDD key enters the take list and drive directory. You could view folders and file properties and select files for playback. The tone key activates the tone oscillator and will latch on when holding button for more than two seconds. The backlight key switches back and forth from view one to view two level meters, allowing you to monitor additional tracks. If you press and hold the backlight key while turning the multifunction rotary knob, you could adjust the brightness of the LEDs or turn on or off the backlight key by pressing in the multifunction rotary knob and backlight key. The input key will access your track setup menu for which the user can arm, disarm, route, and view meter activity for all 12 tracks. Let's talk about the inputs. The micro line level inputs consist of four balanced analog XLR inputs, one through four, and four balanced analog TA3 input connectors, five through eight. For inputs five, six, seven, and eight, you would use the XL2F cables made by Sound Devices, which will allow you to connect all XLR cables to the recorder. All inputs must be activated to record. To activate your inputs, press in recess gain control and rotate knob clockwise. To access each of the input settings, move the input selector toggle switch to its corresponding channel. This window will allow you to access your mic line or digital input selection, activate 48 phantom power, high pass filter, input to track routing, limiter, and polarity reversal. To adjust these settings, simply press the soft key closest to the setting option in the window. For example, to change from mic to line level, you would press the menu soft key. Or to activate 48 Phantom, you would press the tone button. To exit, simply toggle the input selector switch in the same direction of input. So let's talk about the outputs. Directly on the other side of the 788T, you'll find the output section for all your output needs. The 788T has six analog and six digital outputs. One through four are balanced analog line level outputs on TA3 male connectors. Five and six outputs utilize an unbalanced analog TRS 3.5 millimeter connector. And to the right of those outputs, you'll find one through four balanced digital AES outputs on two TA3 male connectors. Five and six utilize the DE15 connector on the rear panel of the 788T. By connecting the XL2 cables made by sound devices, you're able to connect all XLR cables to the recorder. These cables are identical to the XL2F cables, but with male XLR ends. For headphone monitoring, the headphone output source on the 788T utilizes both quarter inch and 3.5 millimeter TRS jacks. You could route any input, track, or headphone mix to any of these outputs by simply accessing the setup menu option output menu. Audio signals routed to an output are sent to both analog and digital outputs simultaneously. By factory defaults, outputs 1 through 6 are assigned output 1, left track, output 2, right track, output 3, track A, output 4, track B, output 5, track C, and output 6, track D. So now let's talk about time code. 
The time code in and out source is on a 5-pin Limo connector located on the left side of the 780AT along with all the outputs. To access the time code window, press the menu soft key and scroll with the multi-function rotary knob to the time code option menu. The 780AT supports all common production time code frame rates including 23976, 24, 25, 2997, 2997 drop frame, 30, and 30 drop frame. Time code mode allows you to pick how you want your time code to be run. Your options there include free run, record run, free run jam once, 24 hour run, external time code sync, continuous external time code sync, and external time code auto record. The XLLX cable made by Sound Devices is a 5 pin limo to Y male and female XLR time code in and out cable. It's designed to receive or output time code quick and easy for all your time code needs. So now let's talk about the CLA controller. The CLA connects to the 788T's keyboard port via USB on the back panel of the unit. The CLA controller is an optional control surface for the 788T that significantly expands its mixing capability. Its large rotary style faders provide precise control of gain levels sent to the master left-right mix pre or post fade. By pressing the ALT button located on the left side of the CLA, you are able to toggle between the main, auxiliary routing, and input settings view. These settings include left-right track routing, AUX1, AUX2 track routing, limiter status, input polarity status, and high pass filter status. From the input settings view, you can apply various input settings to any input. By pressing the A button, you can enable or disable the limiter. By pressing the B button, you can enable or disable the high pass filter. If you press the A and the B button simultaneously, you'll invert the polarity reversal for each input. While being in the input settings view, the left right aux 1 aux 2 LED indicators are disabled. Limiter and high pass filter LEDs illuminate solid yellow when the input setting is enabled. Input polarity LEDs illuminate solid blue when the input polarity has been inverted. The LEDs will flash respectively on each input if the limiter and high pass filter are disabled and input polarity is normal. To return to the main view, press the ALT button again. Please note that when you power up the 788, by default the CL8 will always go to its main view. Also located on the left side of the CL8, right under the ALT button, you'll find the slate mic button. To activate your slate mic, simply press and hold button. To attenuate the slate mic gain, press and hold the slate mic button while turning the multifunction rotary knob. On the rear panel of the 788T, you'll find a USB keyboard port, a C-Link in and out port, a compact flash slot, battery compartment, which utilizes Sony Lithium L-Series batteries, and a multifunction DE15 connector used for AES in and out digital connection. So that seems to wrap it up for this video. I hope I was able to give a quick overview of the 788T CLA controller. For more information about the 788 or other products, come visit Location Sound Corporation located at 10639 Riverside Drive in North Hollywood, California. Or give us a call and talk to one of our representatives, which would be more than happy to help you. Thank you and have a great day.